today we'll be talking about spleen spleen is a hemolymph organ from the reticuloendothelial system it is highly vascular friable and elastic and it moves with the respiration it is situated in the upper and the left part of the abdomen between the fundus of the stomach and the diaphragm it lies mainly uh, in the left hypochondrium the lateral two third part is in the left hypochondrium and partly in the epigastrium the medial one third part is in the epigastrium when we talk about the axis of the spleen the axis of the spleen is oblique directed downward forward and laterally and it coincides with the 10th rib uh there is a heris dictum around of the odd numbers around the spleen that is 1 3 5 7 9 and 11 it is 1 inch in thickness it has 3 inches breadth it is 5 inches in length 7 ounces in weight and it uh, rests again 9th to 11th rib when we talk about the presenting part or how to hold the spleen in the anatomical position it has two hands the medial hand and the lateral hand it has two surfaces the diaphragmatic surface which is smooth and the visceral surface which has hilum it has two borders superior border and inferior border superior border has notches it has two angles the anterior basal angle and the posterior basal angle uh, when we talk about the medial end of the spleen the medial end is blunt and rounded and it is directed upward back and medially next we have the lateral end this is the lateral end the lateral end is broad and it is represented by a border which extends between the superior and the inferior border the intermediate border it is directed downward forwards and to the left now the left uh, lateral end is related to the left colic flexure in front and the phrenico colic ligament below when we talk about the diaphragmatic surface of the spleen the diaphragmatic surface is smooth and convex when we talk about structures that are related to the diaphragmatic spleen from within outwards firstly we'll have the diaphragm separated by recess of the greater sac of the peritoneum second we'll have the lower border of the left lung and the left pleural sac in the upper one third part and the costo diaphragmatic recess of the left pleural sac in the lower two third part then we ha- will have the 9 10th and 11th rib of the left side and their intercostal spaces when we talk about the visceral surface of the spleen the visceral surface of the spleen will have total four impressions the gastric impression the renal impression colic and the pancreatic impression this is the gastric impression gastric impression is above the hilum and forms a shallow fossa the hi- this is the hilum of the spleen it gives attachments to the gastrosplenic ligament and the reno lenal ligament and it transmits splenic vessels and nerves and lymphatics then we'll have the renal impression renal impression is uh, somewhat concave and is situated behind the gastric impression or we can say below the intermediate border this is the intermediate border so this will be the renal impression next we have the colic impression it is situated in the front of the lateral end this is the lateral end it will be situated in front of the lateral end and is related with the left colic flexure uh, flexure and we have the pancreatic impression the pancreatic impression is occasionally present as a non peritoneal um, uh, area between the colic impression and the lateral end of the hilum this is the lateral end of the hilum this is the colic impression somewhere here we'll have the pancreatic impression then when we talk about the superior border of the spleen the superior border has one to two notches they are close to the lateral end the notches indicate that the spleen is lobulated during the development then the inferior border inferior border separates the renal impression from the diaphragmatic surface then we have the in two angles the first is the anterior basal angle anterior basal angle is present at the junction of the superior border and the lateral end this will be our anterior basal angle then the posterior basal angle it will be at the junction of the inferior border and the lateral end of the spleen so here we will have the posterior basal angle next we have the two ligaments of the spleen the gastrosplenic ligament and the leno renal ligament so gastrosplenic ligament will be connecting the fundus of the spleen and the anterior lip of the hilum so anterior lip of the hilum will be connected to the fundus of the stomach and the leno renal ligament will connect the anterior surface of the left kidney to the posterior lip of the hilum 